Hi friends, now it's time to see various applications of uh, WA linked list. There are many quite number of uh, applications in the forming different types of data structures out of uh, this WA linked list. So how can we work on it? So the various uh, data structures we can evolve using this uh, basic uh, WA link list. So it can be one side, it can be a stack, it can be a queue, it can be a tree and so on. So let's uh, begin our uh, discussion on stacks. So what a stack is? Stack is a data structure which has got uh, multiple entries available. It's a one-sided list. And there is only one end to the list, which is called uh, top. And uh, what we can do is uh, we can have uh, operations. So basically, there are two operations. So one is called push and the other one is called form. So push is uh, adding data to the stack and pop is uh, removing data from the stack. Okay, how it is done. So if we take an example, so we can say push data one, then data one comes here. Then if you say push data two, then data two comes here. Now while doing this, what is happening? How do you, how do you think data two has come here? So there was something called top. So let's uh, number them. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Okay. So we see these are the operations we are performing. And that's a location where the top is. Okay, now to begin with, the position of the top was at zero. Nothing was operated. So when you say push, it searches where the top is. So it is at zero. So D1 is written at the place where top is present showing. So once the uh, work is over, then top is showing the next one. So it becomes one. So when you say push again, then it looks at where the top is. The top is at one. So it will write D2 there and automatically top is incremented to the next one. Then you want to push one more? Okay, let's push one more. Now T3. Where T3 should go? So it looks at what is top. Top is 2. So it goes to location 2. And at location 2, it will write D3. And once that is done, then location 3 is 
the top is automatically updated to location 3. Okay, now let's uh, do some other operations. Now let us pop. So when you are popping, we don't have to tell what to pop. So it's uh, by convention that the last entry will be popped out. So that is stack is uh, last in first out type of data structure. So when you say pop, what should happen is D3 comes out. D3 comes out. So how do you get T3? So first look at top. So top is saying 3. Then you have to come one step back. So 3 you make it 2 and then from second location get it out and then stay there because next time when you say push you have to write there at that location. So there are two ways of working. One way is keep the next blank space ready before pushing or keep the top entry ready for popping. So in our case what we are doing is we are keeping the top ready. So what was happening? So this top changed to this after pushing D3 then when you pop then top came down to T2 and uh, this uh, from 3 it came down to 2 and then D3 is popped out and uh, it still remains 2 after popping it will be 2 that means location 2 is free now so next time if you say push when you say push d4 then this already popped out so we can write d4 here and the location again goes to 3 so that next time if you push it will go into location 3. So this uh, all are possible so how this can be used in our work. So in our work what is it is uh, only one end is to be used so that means uh, if D1 comes first, then D2 comes next, then D3 comes next, then D4 comes next, then our data structure would be looking something like this D3, D4 as per this situation. So what we have done is pushed D1, then pushed D2, then pushed D3, then pushed D4. Then if I say pop, what should happen is it should come back. Then where our uh, indices are. So this is our N1, this is N2, this is N3, this is N4. So now if we push one more, then a new node has to be created here and that node's address we have to write here that is in the back it will be and n4 and here is what you call this location is top now. So what we have to do, if you pop this, then this will come out. So use the backlink and go to the previous node and then call this as top. 
if you pop then go back call this top if another pop go back call this top one more pop go back call this top on the other side when you are pushing this was top for the first time then this became top second time then this became top third time and this became top fourth time so this is moving in the forward direction so in that case we use the forward arrows to work for that so the last node he is called top so that's how a stack can be implemented using the doubly linked list